All right, today's video is going to be what I call the light switch on, light switch off. Meaning, if you've seen my other protection videos, we turn the dog on to bark at somebody in aggressive action. And when we want to turn them off and stop them from talking and stop the threat, we just tell them out or quiet and the dog will shut off the talking and that's that and no more aggressive activity. Okay, so today I'm going to show you with a six month old German Shepherd puppy, Chapo. I've been working with the owner through Skype and I'm doing this video because just today on three of my Skype sessions, this was the same question about this particular concept, okay? So I figured since there was three alone today on Skype, I might as well go over because this has always been a topic that people want to know how you do it, okay? So, six month old puppy, okay? So here what we're going to do is we already got Chapo pre today to bark at a toy okay so when the owner has him by his side he tells him watch and the puppy will start to bark at the toy that's out there okay so now what we're going to do here is you're going to see the owner tell him watch he's going to start activating the puppy cannot leave his side. He has to stay right there, not leave the leg, the heel leg, okay, when we turn them into action. So he's going to say, watch to him. The puppy's going to start barking at the toy. And then for the first time today, right here in front of you, doing all this for the first time, he's going to tell him to quiet. When the puppy deactivates and stops the talking, we're going to reward with the toy. Watch him. 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 Yeah, no, that was good. good and now what you want to do is too, because you see there, we need a little bit of activity to get him not, he's, he did he's it done. well. He's barking was a little stalled, not as, you know, because he might be a little confused, mm -hmm. not what's coming. So I'm just going to hold him and wing it like you do. Rah, 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 and I throw it, right? All right, let's try that. And then this time, you want to give him a reward for the barking. Meaning a, a treat? like a so Just to bring in the bumper. So okay. when he talks this time for good talking, reward the talk. Okay. All right, so the barking was okay. But I want more intensity and duration. Okay? So what I'm having the owner do is amp him up, hype him up. And this is one thing that I've come across in my career with the public, trainers that I train. The motivation factor is usually lacking, right? Knowing when to turn the dog on, when to help. So for Chapo, we need to ready, 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 and get that toy going, right, pre. So we hold him up, ready, and we get it going. We wind it, and we throw it out there to get those juices going. So we get more intensity, okay? And this causes a habit, causes habits for the future. Him queuing up and really getting at it when we start to do these things, okay? So also, he had a lot of fetch before we did this. So he's not at his peak of energy. 
So that also has a little bit of the factor to it. But the toy, when he's out there, one thing you hear the owner say here was, do I reward him with food? Okay? You do not want to use food for rewards in this game. Okay? So the reward is going to be the toy itself for his activity. Okay? So when he's barking, he does well, or he stops talking when we ask him to be quiet. For being quiet, we bring the toy to him here. We reward the behavior with the toy coming to him. Okay? So whether it's for barking or for being quiet, he's going to get a reward for both. Okay? Now, when you use food for these things, it's a terrible thing to do. Okay? So, if I have food, and I try to reward his quietness, right, and he likes the food, we're going to start getting in this game, watch, and he's going to and he's going to start looking at the owner. Food? And he'll take his attention off of the game, knowing that the owner has food, and we'll get a lot of weirdness, right, that the dog will never stay rah, 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 at a toy or an object or a person where trying to do this with as an aggressor. So this interrupts the game when you do food for this. We want to see rah, 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 and the toy is that, that state of mind and that focus is always at the object that we're telling him to bark at, never to have reward here at the owner and give from here, right, for talking or for being quiet okay and again we start doing that we're gonna have a lot of unstable disconnected behaviors so instead of rah and the intensity we're gonna start getting rah rah no no rah 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 right now we get this weird <laughs> bar game that's not intense, it's always this, and the intensity towards the object and the focus is going to be lacking greatly. So, no food in these kinds of games. It will be the intensity of the toy, and yes, and he gets that toy that he's really active for, and then we play tug of war with him, and we keep that energy and that passion for that object. Okay, so it's very important. Ready, 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 ready. Watch it. Watch it. Right, and then you start patting him if you get the pump. Right, good boy. Good boy. Good boy, that's a good puppy. Oh, yes. What, what do you think about that? Yeah, he really started off good, you know, and then he started to tail off a little bit. So it's just getting the, the wind up, and he's been doing stuff for a while, too. Yeah, so his energy is not going to be the same as if you did this from the beginning. Right. I will try it. Yeah. So this time we'll I'm going to, what you're going to do, hold him good, and ray, 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 right? And, and I wouldn't do it too far. Okay. All right. Ready, 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 ready. Huh? You ready? Huh? You ready? Huh? Huh? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Good. Right. <laughs> yeah. So what you think we should do next? Yeah. I mean, that was good. Now what you try is turn them on, turn them off, turn them back on. All right. Yeah. And then you reward for the back on. For the back. Yeah, I got it. So that'd be cool. Good boy. Good boy. Tuck them. Out. Hey, look at that. You didn't see it, but the, the out was good. 
Good. Amp them up. Yeah. Yeah, one of my techs was, was fascinated with what we're doing up here. <laughs> You ready, ready? Hi, you ready? You ready? Hi, you ready? You ready? Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. What you could have done was rewarded for the active talking again. Okay. Let's okay. Switch it up again. Yeah. Uh huh. So sometimes I'm going to throw in once in a while, whichever one he doesn't know which one's coming. But because that was the first time you went to active to non active back to active, I reward for the active again after the quiet. All right. Right. The next time I reward him on the quiet. So I could do the four like you just did because that was four sequences. All right. So. In that segment there, there was four sequences of watch, get active, quiet to shut down, watch again to go active, and then Tony threw in one that I didn't expect at the end, and it was hard to hear him at the end, but then he said quiet again, and then rewarded the dog immediately for shutting off again at the end. So I'll uh, play here again, but you'll see, just listen to that last one at the end, because there was a, a quiet thrown in at the end, just as he rewarded, right? So we did four sequences there, which was very good for the first time ever doing this with this puppy, right? So Tony pushed it a little bit and he went a little beyond it, but that's the game, right? And he did it perfectly. He turned on on watch, he shut off on quiet, he turned on again on watch, and then he shut off again on quiet, and then got his reward. So light switch on, light switch off. You ready, ready, hi, you ready? You ready? Hi, you ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Right. Good. All right. And then you reward. All right. Not. Right. Good. All right. I'm going to just do three this time. Yeah. But doing four, you overshot it and he did it perfectly. Yeah. He still did it. He, he, yeah. He, we'll do, make, make it easier this time. Ready, 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 you ready? 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 Watch him! Watch him! Watch him! Quiet! Watch him! Right, good. Yeah, I think he's getting that down too. I guess we are. That'll work. That'll yeah. work. Perfect. And then you just play with that on and off. Sometimes I tell him to watch it, and I, I give it to him on the first time for talking. Then I just give it to him on a quiet. Then I mix it up. I do three sequences, four sequences, five sequences, right? So I just kind of mix it up all the time so he never knows which one's going to be the reward one. Yeah. That's good puppy. Now, also, the question will be, because most people will not be able to do it so smoothly to get him to bark well and then to turn him off so well like Chapo's going to do here throughout the video. How do we do it? Whether people want to hear it or not, <laughs> with the e-collar, we gently are able to talk to him. Gently. Just a little communicator of that's that okay now we've never done this with him before this is the first time that we're making him
do quiet here in the video. He's never done this before. And you see that using this, their e collar, there's no negative effects or making him worried or concerned, frightened, right? The whole world has this completely backwards. Now, saying that, you have to understand how to do e collars very well. My method, I always want happy, motivated dogs. I'm just using it as a communicator, not to punish him, right? So all the dogs you see on my YouTube channels, and Chapo included, if this bothered him like that, we would get him shut down, and he wouldn't want to bark anymore. But I've done this 25 years, I know exactly what I'm doing. The beauty of this when it's done properly, because we can get him to understand things very quickly, smoothly, without any hitches, right? And instantly, with no fear, anxiety, ruining the behavior, and clearly here in the video you can see it does not distress him one bit. Now saying that, Chapo's gone through other exercises already, so he's very fluent to the collar and is not afraid of it, right? So before you do something like this, you have to have an obedience e-collar game before you work on exercises like this or any protection exercises with the e-collar because then things will be very smooth. We get the best performances out of our protection dogs balancing out positive and e-collars, right? And it's not a complete negative. So I don't want to say positive negative because that's not the way it really is. Dogs were meant to be bitten when they came to the planet by each other, not living with humans. There wouldn't be any, hey, I, 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 no, out, hey, drop it, leave it, right? We make things very clear, simple, and a little physical touch for the moment, because that's what he was born for. Species was meant to bite each other through communication. Humans got this all wrong, all backwards and confused. And that's why we get a beautiful performance out of him, using this to stop him from talking and turn him back on without any issues whatsoever, right? Or again, we're not doing it as punishment. We're just communicating quickly so that we can get very smooth and get his mind and you know this energy under control and then we reactivate it. And then he has no problems reactivating, right? And I think we only really used it the first time when he told him to quiet the first time. And I think after that, he didn't, Tony didn't have to use it anymore. He just quieted after the first time, every time, without it. So you get things very quick when working with the collar, when it's done properly, and the dog has an understanding of the language of this. Usually, we, in my method, we get things done. One, two, three. First day, usually we get anything I want because the dogs have the system of that and things become so clean and easy. So just so you know how we're going about getting him to be quiet when we tell him. All right. So that is how I go about the process of the light switch on, light switch off. Again, meaning when I tell you to bark at something or someone, you go active on the command. When I tell you to be quiet, you shut off completely. And that's that on the quiet verbal to shut down, okay? So future protection for him later. We have a decoy out there, the bad guy. We tell him to watch him, he'll bark at him if we want to shut him off. That's that, and the decoy can come and pet him and touch him and the game is off. Okay, so we have total control over what the dog is gonna do, right? So if we turn him on, 
he goes on. We shut him off, that's that, and we're done with the aggression unless I say otherwise. Okay, then life just goes on. Anybody can pet him, the decoy can pet him, whatever it is, and the game is over, and aggression is done and over, and no more talking, no aggressive state. Okay, so that is light switch on, light switch off.